calculate using long division. 5x cubed minus x plus 1 divided by x minus 3. The first thing we need to do is to make sure that the dividend and the divisor are both arranged in the descending order of the powers of x. Let me explain what I mean by this. The dividend is 5x cubed plus 0x squared, as there is no x squared term, minus 1x, which I can write as x to the power of 1, plus 1, which I can write as 1, x to the power of 0. As you can see, the power of the leading term, which is always the term with the highest power, is 3, and it comes first, then x squared, then x to the 1, and then x0. This is the order in which you want to have the dividend arranged. Also, if we look at the divisor, we see that x minus 3 can be written as 1 x to the power of 1 minus 3 x to the power of 0, uh, which is again in the descending order of the powers of x. You have the power of 1 and then power of 0. Now we can start dividing the expressions. We have the dividend here 5x cubed minus x plus 1 and the divisor here x minus 3. Now the first step to the division is to divide the leading term of the dividend which is 5x cubed by the leading term of the divisor which is x. If we simplify this, we will have 5x to the power of 3 minus 1, that is 5x squared. I will write 5x squared where the quotient would be. Now I multiply 5x squared back into the divisor. If I wanted to write this explicitly, it would be 5x squared times x minus 1, x minus 3, and that becomes 5x cubed minus 15x squared. And I would put the result here, 15x squared. And I would subtract the two terms. 5x cubed minus 5x cubed, that would be 0. Minus x minus minus 15x squared plus 1. Minus minus 15x squared is 15x squared. We have a minus x and we have plus 1. Again, I need to make sure that all the terms are arranged in the descending order of the powers of x, as you see here. We we'll repeat the procedure one more round. Um, the leading term now is 15x squared. We divide it by the leading term of the divisor, which is x. The answer is 15x. We write 15x as part of the quotient. Let's multiply the 15x now into the divisor. We would get 15x squared minus 45x. And we now subtract these two terms. 15x squared minus 15x squared would give you 0. Minus x minus minus 45x, that's minus x plus 45x. If that's not clear, we can rewrite it down here. Minus x minus minus 45x. These two minus signs would multiply into plus 1. This becomes minus x plus 45x 
which is 44x. So I will have 44x here, and then I have a plus 1. Again, this is in the descending order of the powers of x. Now, the power of the leading term is 1. The power of the leading term in the divisor is also 1. Therefore, I must continue dividing. We should continue until the power of the reminder, remainder is less than the power of the divisor. 44x divided by x, that gives us 44. So I put 44 as part of the quotient. Multiply 44 into x, you get 44x. And multiply 44 into minus 3, that's minus 132. Now we subtract these two terms. 44x minus 44x, that gives us 0. 1 minus minus 132, that means 1 plus 132, which would be 133. This is the remainder. And this would be the quotient. of this division.